What's up, YouTube? I'm Brad from Rancher Us. As always, guys, if y'all enjoy our content, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave that comment down below. We're on the road to 1,000, and we hope you guys can help us get there. All right, so, 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 uh, for all of the y'all that have been wanting and begging, and I mean begging, because we know that you're out there, uh, uh, guys, National Treasure fans, I know y'all have been begging for years upon years for a, a television series to be made about National Treasure. Because we all know we love this version of Nicolas Cage. With his weird hair. Um, I guess it's like some sort of comb over. I don't know exactly what it was. Looked more like a midlife crisis to me. Uh, but for all of y'all that were that loved that show. And thought it was like something uh, unique and different. Uh, you're probably going to be excited. Disney Plus is releasing a 10 episode uh, series. Would not be shocked if like WandaVision and like some of these other shows um, it's going to have a one season run. Um, and I'm not saying WandaVision. I don't when I put it, WandaVision there, the only thing that connects WandaVision with this series is that it will have a one season run. WandaVision was a pretty good show. Um, and maybe that's what Disney Plus is going for. Uh, it's just like one, one season shows maybe so that they can, I don't know. This kind of feels like they're more pushing agenda or just trying to be woke for woke's sake, uh, and not really caring about what the topic is about, or what the movie is about, because I don't think that they're looking at this and going, you know what, this was popular 10 years ago, I'm sure there's a lot of people that are huge fans of this, and want a series out of this, I don't think there's that, I think they're picking a movie and being like, you know what, we're going to get a diverse cast, and we're going to talk about, I don't know, Issues that were relevant maybe two years ago. Um, and then we'll see how many how many uh, woke points we can get out of this. That's the way it, this kind of feels to me. This doesn't feel serious. It's not that it doesn't feel serious because of who's starring in it. It's the description that doesn't feel serious because... Feels like it's less about treasure and more about just kind of like some kind of woke politics that even kind of right now kind of seems like old woke politics. It don't even seem like it's something that would work for today. It feels like something that maybe should have been like a year or two ago should have been made, but I don't know. Let me go ahead and read y'all what I'm talking about. Um says right here, uh, the description of the series says, it explores the timely issue of identity, community, historical authorship, and patriotism told from the point of view of Jess Morales, a 20-year-old dreamer who, with uh, her diverse group of friends, sets off on an adventure of a lifetime to uncover her mysterious family history and recover lost treasure. Uh... You know, you know, anytime, and I don't, I don't want to sound mean when I say this, even though I know a lot of people will say, well, that's, you're being mean when you're saying this. Anytime where you hear in the very description of it, diverse cast, that's all that show is probably going to be about. Like if you've got, because that's what they're trying to promote on that it and they're not doing it for the right reasons either it's like it's great i mean look you need more lgbtq uh stars out there you need more uh diverse cast uh out there you need those things there's nothing wrong with that that's actually great that's progress but when you put it in the the description of that it makes it feel like it's not sincere it makes it feel like it's 
that that's what the show is just about, not about finding treasure or having anything to do with um uh with you know the national treasure movies. This feels like it has more to do about getting like woke politics that really to be honest with you woke politics that feel old for even today's standard like this is something that I just really feel like should have just been made two years ago not I don't feel like it's even relevant now uh, especially with the whole dreamer thing I, I don't feel like that's even relevant uh, I feel like that's maybe relevant maybe about two years ago but now I'm just kind of like you know whatever <laughs> you know and something tells me that this is going to be about American history, but it's not going to be anything about the American history that we all grew up learning. This is going to be like some kind of far left uh, version of American history. And it's probably going to ali immediately alienate uh, half of the population and it might get a season two, not because it's good, uh, but because it pushes an agenda that Disney promotes. Which, you know what, Disney, you have all the power to do that. It's your programming. Um, I just kind of wish that they would they would focus on something that everyone can enjoy. Like I kind of feel like, and I feel like this about everything. Whether and I know here on Rants or Us, I've complained about it a million times. I kind of feel like we focus so much on everything that divides us as groups, as people. Um, we need to find something that unites us, and uh, you know, you know, things like sports used to, and then sports got really woke. And um, then that alienated a lot of people. And I'm kind of like, why do that? Like, like, I mean, it doesn't really serve a, that much of a purpose. I really haven't seen that much. You know, I know they're, they're always talking about in like the NBA and all that where there's lots of change. I don't see any change that really has happened. I don't think a lot of people that were promoting it are probably really that happy about the change that was promoted on anything. I just kind of feel like, it's just, you know, people are wanting to do it for the right reasons. Um, you know, I don't, you know, that's cool on the, on that, but I just kind of feel like it's not really accomplishing anything because I feel like these corporations, they feel like they get their, like, woke points and then they just move on to something else and say, well, hey, look what we did here, but... They didn't really accomplish anything. So it's like, no one wins. I mean, you know, if you're on the right, you're probably a little bit alienated by it. And if you're on the left, you're still not getting what you're wanting out of it. So I just kind of feel like these corporations are like the in this weird in-between where they, 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 they preach a certain message and they maybe promote it for a little bit. And then they pull back on it and then no one gets anything that they want. Uh, out of it, I feel that way with Disney. Bad, like I feel like Disney is the worst offenders of it. I mean, the John Boyega thing is the best example of when when they they promote John Boyega here, but then when it involves China, they want to not cast him. Um, you know, or you know, not show him on the posters in China. Um, I kind of feel like that's racist, <laughs> but apparently, I'm. I don't understand it quite as well as what Disney does. Like I said, hey, you know what, Disney, I'm sure has the pulse on America. I'm pretty sure um, people are going to be excited about seeing um, this national treasure with. Um, the uh, dreamer and the diverse cast talking about uh, a diverse group of friends talking about identity, community, and historical authorship, and patriotism. I'm sure. I'm sure that's what um, a lot of us are going to be really excited for. Let me know what y'all. I think. 
I'm not gonna lie. I I think this is like one of the worst ideas for a series. You take everything that I just read down below. You could have put Nicolas Cage in this, and it would been, it would have been garbage. Like this would have been garbage. Even if it was just like the National Treasure series, this would have been. I mean, movies. This would have been garbage, completely and totally. Like I don't, I don't think that there's a big calling for this. I don't feel like there's people that want this. Uh, I could be completely and totally wrong. Uh, but I know I'm not excited about National Treasure uh, series, but who knows? Maybe I'm maybe I'm in the minority when it comes to that one because I uh, I'm not excited about seeing this. I don't know, but who knows? We might even cover it just for laughs here on on Ritz or us. As always, guys, thanks for watching.